Welcome back. I'm Tyler. You're watching the channel with my fracking name on it. And welcome to the 90th installment of last week Lolita News. At the top of the segment, the Milky Planet MTO is currently substituting for my will to live. Both APUSA and the French branch will be taking orders from the 23rd to the 30th of this month meaning those who get paid bi-weekly are currently crying tears of blood, those who get paid monthly have blown their entire bag by now and are disassociating, and the rest of us are selling anything that won't get us arrested, a little bit that would implicate us, and some things that would make the Silk Road look like a polyester cul-de-sac. There are a few things I won't do for the original cuts and colors. Those things became available the moment it was confirmed for glitter, and it even has new little straps to help distribute the weight of the garment across your shoulders, where the previous edition essentially yoked the wearer like a mule before sending them out to till a fracking field. That said, I wouldn't put it past this brand to make those straps unadjustable, and they'll likely sew them down just tight enough that you can take your own blood pressure, but not so close that you can bill them for loss of limb. Angelic Pretty would push someone off a cliff to see if they would bounce, so I'm not exactly expecting favors from them in the armhole department. Whatever the case, the estimated delivery date hasn't been announced for Paris or the States, so I'm sure things will proceed smoothly so long as there isn't anything like an on ongoing global pastrami. Japan is expecting to get theirs around August, so we can set our watches for the States to see it between September and whenever the next international crisis decides that the mail can run on time. USBS in particular was held together by sticky tape and desperation pre-Panini, Hera help us all if someone so much as sneezes in the supply chain before Halloween. Moving right along, AP has also released photos of their upcoming spring collection. The brand has apparently learned how to draw a rabbit in motion after bearing a previous resemblance to both the left and right flap, and this PG rendition is called Fluffy Puff Bunny, meaning spiky flat rat must have been taken. Regardless, the JSK and OP are available in pink, white, yellow, and the printer is low on ink. Please replace cartridge with highly specific brand name here, or HP will come directly to your door and kick you in the face. You cannot convince me that a Saks or Lavender version of this wouldn't sell better, but we are talking about the brand that intends to charge 6k yen for a cranial fly swatter, points for recycling your grandmother's pantyhose, and deductions for the sheer amount of things I will bonk into when I forget that I have an extra foot of nonsense on my skull. Speaking of aerial assaults of the predictable variety, this reporter is expecting a bot strike from orbit in the near future. This print suffers from the wallet ruining condition known as lyrical bunny-itis, and I suggest anyone who wants it to start praying to their god because neither Satan nor MasterCard will save you now. We have stared into the void and found an accursed yellow rabbit, and that same rabbit will mock us when APUSA smolders under the wreckage, and most of the continental U.S. is screaming things that would strip the paint off the Sistine Chapel. Lyrical Bunny Parlor is going to be a bloodbath, but at least those who aren't going after it will be around to bury the dead. Contrastingly, the other upcoming AP releases thrill me about as much as drying paint and can be described as Tea Party exclusives specifically designed to make you regret your ticket, a dress with a skin condition, wake me when it matters, my most heartfelt desire is to be shaped like a traffic cone, regretsy is that you, off with their heads, and finally a tulip print that looked like a dollar store pillowcase one second and then revealed itself to be one of the best of the bunch later on, much like Cinderella the night of the ball and we didn't even have to deal with a royal foot fetishist intent on fondling the grippers of every woman within a 50 mile radius. In all seriousness, this print is strangely reminiscent of pastel a la mode, and with the re-releases filling the docket as of late, I'm truly hopeful that AP will take this sense of nostalgia and run with it, at least until they trip over their own hubris and go back to pumping out muddy pastels that I wouldn't use to cover my grandfather's corpse. I give them two weeks tops, and transitioning to a brand that isn't trying to ruin my life, Meta's classic tea house JSK is currently currently in stock on their website. It comes in blue, brown, and a direct threat to my financial stability. And while the plus size version is sold out in every color, but the one designed to end up in an unfortunate attempt at steampunk, the regular JSK is still fully in stock, the print is fantastic, and I'll have to hope to see it at a meetup because we both know that I blew my entire recreational fund on Dream Doll and Milky Fuck My Life. Meanwhile, the pre-orders for Meta's Happy Sewing Time series have begun. Delivery is expected just in time for us to sweat our tits off in the summer heat. And I suggest they change the name to Happy Screaming Time because there has not been a single moment holding a needle and thread that I didn't feel like ripping out my stitches, starting over, and stabbing the nearest person unable to get out of the way. Regardless, this series' color palette is creative, to say the least. And while I'm not sure if this is good or I'm just having a stroke, both cuts are really cute. There's a 
cracking tiny pair of scissors on the OP's bow, and the JSK has double buttons for stability, putting AP's measly one per strap to shame the brand is incapable of feeling for any reason ever. I once put on a brand new AP dress and had one button just fall right off. I watched it roll across the floor and I tallied my reasons for continuing to exist. Also, this headdress is fantastic. Look at that fat little bear. He's just kind of hanging out, and I believe that that's the energy we should be taking into 2023. You know, if it weren't for the continued raging of the pepperoni, the ongoing incident in Northern Asia, the national protests in France, China in general, climate change, and the mass meltdown of cis men as they come to terms with the fact that women can pay their own rent now and no longer have to date someone with a medium ugly personality just to pay the bills. You know, little things, nothing to worry about. Clearly the peroxide on my head isn't an early warning sign that I'm descending into a state of perpetual horror, pay no attention to the various psychoses behind the curtain. Which brings us to last week Lolita News, next special segment. In the spirit of all these past prints and solid pieces making a comeback, I have a few suggestions for what AP should release next. Said suggestions should be considered gentle prodding at most. The gentle prodding is being done by a shotgun. And welcome to This is a Threat. The following is a list of ransoms, starting with the first hard suggestion, Give Me Milky Chan the fawn in blue and pink already, and no one has to go home in tiny, tiny pieces. I will of course accept the original colors, but we both know the market would go absolutely feral for this combo, and my patience for AP's excuses died with the 50th release of Misty Fracking Weather Event. I'm forecasting Cloudy with a chance of concussion if my demands are not met, and since I'm feeling especially unreasonable, second on that list is going to be Cherry Berry Bunny and Happy Garden. I want them specifically in these two cuts. And I want the person who designed this head bow drawn and quartered, because balancing out this massive skirt with dome decoration the size of a thimble is the fashion equivalent of skipping leg day. You've got all these muscles up top and thighs like a paraplegic. This head bow is one step removed from those tiny top hats, and anyone who's wearing one of those on Princess Peachy's internet should turn themselves in and pay for their crimes. Also, swap out the black colorways of both prints for something people will actually want to buy, because Cherry Berry Bunny and Lavender is a pipe dream I will hang on to, at least until I need said pipe to violate someone's human rights. A certainty that brings us to my third demand, fork over pastel a la mode and no one gets hurt. I don't care if it's the gingham or polka dot edition, but I do care that you increase the vice-like sizing to something that will allow basic lung inflation because this 2006 print is roughly the size of Barbie's tube sock. A print that fantastic deserves to be shared with people whose proportions allow space for internal organs. It has the simple charm of happy garden but with baked goods, and I will take no commentary on it that doesn't end with, I agree with everything you say, why didn't I see it before? Please take my firstborn child, I am clearly too incompetent to be trusted with anything requiring a modicum of taste. A perfect point to follow with the fourth mandatory re-release, how long are we going to have to eke out an existence on this accursed plane before AP hands over the candy shop and carnival JSKs? AP's current trend of lightly altered potato sacks couldn't hold a candle, and I think this community is overdue for some structural pieces that won't make the wearer look like they've spent $300 on a bodyline copycat. That price tag had better come with an unspecified amount of left sleeves or I'm going to be upset. Sure, the horses on the carnival JSK look like front runners for Elmer's glue, but you have to see the dress worn before you can truly judge. This is what we all wanted to look like in 2010. Let me have this. Nostalgia is the only thing that's getting me through the constant urge to lose my ever-loving mind. I should also admit that Candy Shop is on the list, at least partially because I sold it over a decade ago and have since learned the taste of regret. But that doesn't lessen the fact that it's the only execution of polka dots that matters, and the bitterness I feel for letting it escape will plague me until AP decides to end my suffering. Or I'm distracted by the next cat print. Whichever comes first. Which brings us to the fifth and final contenders for series that need to come back before I violate some Geneva conventions. A remake of Jewelry Jelly with the saturation turned way up, and Milky Planet in Lavender but structured like the original cuts, because apparently AP has to be told to make this a thing. You would think that this would be an obvious decision given that the Shibuya AP store is known for carrying the shade, but this is also presuming that this brand has any priorities beyond lowering fabric quality and slowly deteriorating before our very 
eyes. This is a metaphorical sense of deterioration, mind you. AP is still printing money like we're playing Monopoly. Every square is a hotel they already own, and none of us are going to live long enough to pass go. Which reminds me of an aforementioned print that also didn't look long for this world. Jewelry Jelly came out of the factory looking like it had been through its third divorce. I'd truly like to see this series reprinted with something other than nearly invisible ink, because every single dress I've seen is just faded enough to be infuriating, to the extent that when I bought mine secondhand, I had to double check that the seller hadn't sent me a sunburnt testament to their own incompetence. Only to find out that actual professionals had looked at this nearly translucent thing and sold it for legal tender, a state I plan to leave their kneecaps in once I find the people responsible. Thus ends my list of demands, along with my patience, and that's all the time we have for tonight. This has been Tyler. You've been watching the channel with my fracking name on it. I'd like to thank my patrons for their stalwart support while I pinball between my 11th and 12th reasons. And should you like to join their number and or watch while I try to drag my life back into a state of function, you can head over to patreon.com slash lastweeklolitanews or do anything else that would be remotely productive with your time. I'm going to pound caffeine until I feel something. Thanks again, guys and I'll catch you next time.